want to say that we come here in solidarity with you. We come here as members of the Episcopal Church, um, a church that is in 17 countries, including this one. Um, a church that is part of a worldwide communion of faith, Anglican communion with 85 million people scattered throughout the world. I come before you as the presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church, but also mindful that the Archbishop of the Anglican Church of Canada wrote a letter of support and solidarity with you. Um, and Bishop John Tarrant is here, the Bishop of South Dakota, the Bishop of North Dakota has been here to send his greetings. And we bring you the greetings of the bishops of the Episcopal Church and indeed of the people of the Episcopal Church. We pray for you. We thank you and we stand in solidarity with you. Early on, I saw a sign that someone had and it said simply, water is a gift of the creator. We must protect it. We must conserve it. We must care for it. And the truth of the matter is, water is a gift of the creator and it is important because water means life for all of the children of God, human beings who are gifts of the Creator. Now, I'm not here to preach a sermon, but if I was here to preach a sermon, I might go back to the story of creation in Genesis, where the Bible says God created man and woman in God's image and likeness which is the Bible's way and all of our religious traditions ways of saying that every human being, every person is a child of God. Yeah. And if every person is a child of God, we are of infinite value and worth. Therefore, every life is precious. And therefore, anything that enhances life, like water, like sacred land, is of infinite value to God and it matters. And therefore your struggle, your struggle is not just your struggle, it is our struggle. It is the struggle of the human community. It is the struggle of people seeking to live in accordance with God's dream and God's purpose for every one of us. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, once said in his letter from a Birmingham jail, he said that the truth of the matter is we are all interconnected. We are all tied together in a single garment of destiny. We are, whether we like it or not, all created by the same God and creator of us all. And, and stay with me now, if we all come from the same parent, the same creator, then, well, let me, let me say it this way. If we all got the same daddy, <laughs> or we all got the same mama, then, then that means we are related. And, 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 and that means if we, if we got the same God, guess what? I'm your brother, and you're my sister, and you're my sister, and my brother, and my sister. Everybody here is tied in a single garment of destiny. We are God's children. God's children. And if we are God's children, and this earth is God's creation, then let us not tear one another asunder, and let us not tear this earth asunder. We are here to stand in solidarity with you. And there are people around the country and around the world who are praying and wanting to support you. And your story must go beyond this sacred place. They must hear your story, the story of how you have organized to save God's creation. The story of how you have organized to help justice to roll down like a mighty stream. The story of how you are trying to make this world a better world, not only for yourselves, but for all of us. Let me tell you something. I come from North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. Even as I stand here and speak, 
is struggling for its very life. I stand here as somebody who understands what it means to have to stand up and struggle. I stand here as somebody who understands what it means to stand up for justice, to stand up for righteousness, to stand up for goodness, to stand up for God's world, to stand up for God's children. And that's what you're doing. And you do not stand alone. Amen. And so, and so I, I would close by realizing something. Your stand here at Standing Rock has brought together nations. You have brought together nations. You have brought together peoples of all stripes and types. You are awakening something in us. You're awakening hope that the world does not have to stay the way it is. You're awakening hope that maybe things can change. No, you are awakening hope that things can change. The world does not have to stay the way it has been.